Good Friday afternoon, everybody, and thanks for being with us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. It is now just past 12 o'clock on this Friday afternoon, and what that means is that Austin City Limits Music Festival is officially beginning. The first weekend kicks off right now, and fans are being allowed into Zilker Park there, which you can see in the distance. The flags are set up so you can take your pictures there. The stages are too. And fortunately, the weather conditions on this Friday are much better than they were on the very first day of the festival kickoff last year. If you remember, storms blew through and actually canceled a number of bands' sets on that very first day. But now, the conditions are much better. And one of the bands that is going to perform this ACL had their set canceled last year, but they're back again, and you'll get to see them this weekend if you go out there to the music festival. And we are lucky to have the lead singer of the band, Darkbird, here with us for a live interview about what it means to be back this year. Kelly Barnes, thank you for being here and uh, for sticking with us. Thank you for coming back around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got to talk uh, at this very time last year about the set cancellation because of that storm. And you told me at that time that you felt crushed by that. I'm wondering that what your mindset is now, knowing that you'll get to perform again. I mean, you know, yeah, last year when y'all interviewed us, we were we were crushed. We were in the midst of the crushing, like we had all cried a little. Um, we just really didn't see the weather, uh, you know, doing what it did to to us. But uh, I guess, like you know, this year we're ready to just crush it. I feel like we've been ready for this opportunity for a while, and we're just really excited to go for it this year. And uh, we've known for a long time. That we're going to do it and uh, last year we didn't have as much notice so it was more of a surprise for us and um yeah we're super excited and i we've all been following the weather very closely this time around but it is texas so you know all bets are not off well i will say that our weather team i checked in with them earlier today and they were saying that it's going to be sunny the temperatures are going to be nice so i think i think that you all should be good on sunday <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. And I'm very hopeful in putting all of my, you know, my powers in, uh, into all the, you know, all the things. Yeah, so. will those good conditions into existence. <laughs> I wanted to ask Absolutely. you, we talked about this last year, and for anybody who might have missed that interview, I asked about what it meant to perform at Austin City Limits as a band based here in the city. So what does this mean to get to perform there again? I mean, it's, it's huge. It's a, it's a huge feeling. It's, it's, it's exciting to tell someone, hey, my band is playing ACL. That's that's an impressive thing to say. Um, it means a lot to your, you know, fellow musicians in town. It means a lot to your family and friends. It's a really awesome thing to to get to do. And, um, you know, we're, we're all so nervous and excited at the same time, but it, it is meaningful for us, and it's definitely one that's going to, you know, go in the books, rain, you know, rain or shine, but... Um, also, just even if it's a disaster or if it's, <laughs> if it's, you know, we come out feeling amazing, it's, a, it's an important show. And, um, you know, when you live here and you've worked hard uh, to be a, a band that's, you know, a rising star in Austin, when you finally get to do it on your own volition, it's, it feels pretty great. So, yeah, it, we're, we're very proud and we're excited and we're definitely not taking this moment for granted. Yeah, it's such a cool thing. And catch us up on what's been happening this last year. Uh, if you can share about any new music that's out there for you all. I mean, yeah, we just put out a, a, an album um, and uh, called Ballad of a June Bug. We just put out a single that goes with that called 3-2 Wake Up. We're putting out a new song next month. And then we're putting on, uh, we have new music to put on at the beginning of next year. Um, we have new merch. <laughs> we just like, we haven't really stopped. So in the last year, you know, I try to tell my band uh, at one point, like maybe it's better that we didn't play last year because I think we're better now. And, uh, you know, it, that's, that's an easy thing to say. I don't know that it's like everything happens for a reason scenario, but, but maybe it is. So I'm, uh, a lot of great things have happened for us this year. We have new music new stuff and uh we're just not stopping anytime soon so we're going out there feeling pretty strong so yeah sunday 115 just do it make do it for yourself 
And we'll share again those, uh, that set time in just a few moments. Uh, we got a little full screen to give everyone a chance if they're going to ACL, when they'll see you all perform. But I just wanted to ask, uh, what do you have in store for the performance and how long you've been preparing for it? Well, we've been preparing for a long time for like the biggest performances possible. I, I feel like this is just, you know, we have a lot of shows coming up in this next month. So while this is an important show, we have, you know, a lot of work to do outside of it. Um, Preparing for this show, honestly, I'm just not going out to the festival until Sunday. I have to take care of my voice. I can't have allergies. I can't scream for other bands. I can't do anything that will compromise my performance. Um, so that's preparation there is just um, just making sure we're well <laughs> is the biggest one. Um, but we we took some time with our set list and you know you know wanted to make it a festival show. Um, so yeah, we've prepared in all the all the right ways, but we're not, you know, strangers to live performance. So we're just we're just ready to do what we do. We're 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 glad that we're finally getting, you know, the chance to just do it for our city. And you get to do it, especially coming back after last year, which I mean, just a heartbreaking thing. And we talked about that for sure. Um, but if anybody wants to go and see Dark Bird perform at this year's Austin City Limits Music Festival, here are those details that you can check out right here. Uh, Dark Bird's performance will be from 1:15 to 2 this Sunday. That's October 9th, and it will be at the BMI stage. Kelly, what would your message be to people out there going to the festival about why they should come and see you all? Um, we're really fun to watch. We put on, a, you know, we have great music that you can listen to on Spotify and everywhere else, everywhere else, but we are really a fun live band to watch. Everyone puts it, you know, all of their efforts into the live show. It's just, um, it's what we're best at doing. So I, I if you want to come and feel the energy of a live band that really like, you know, is going for it and is really authentic in their performance and come see us. We're really good and we have a lot of fun and you will definitely go away thinking that was a great band and uh, want to buy all our stuff. <laughs> well, I am so excited that uh, you were able to join me today and that we were able to kind of do a redemption in a way from last year <laughs> because it was such a disappointment to have to talk to you all on last year's performance after it got canceled, but you're back again and people get to enjoy you and see you there this Sunday at ACL. Yeah, we're really excited. I barely remember that conversation with you <laughs> last year. I remember we did it and I was, yeah, this is a whole different, um, whole different scenario. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that you followed, followed us back around to do this again. It's uh, that's, that was cool of you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we've been talking to Kelly Barnes, the vocalist for the band Dark Bird, based here in Austin. They're performing again this Sunday at ACL. Kelly, I'm going to let you go so that you can enjoy the rest of your day and uh, finish up preparations for this weekend. But thank you again for taking the time today to talk to me. Thank you. Appreciate y'all over there. Take care. All right. We'll see you soon. Everybody, we wanted to also let you know that there are details if you want to go to the festival we wanted to highlight ways that you can get there easily because there is a lot of road closures and things that are associated with the festival so please don't try to drive down there that may not be the best idea but yesterday i got to catch up with our uh, transportation reporter kelsey thompson to highlight some of those ways that you can easily get to the festival and pretty painless ways too so check this out this is the conversation we recorded yesterday here to help us all navigate just a little bit better this weekend is digital reporter Kelsey Thompson. Kelsey, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Will. Of course, so many people are going to be going out this weekend to ACL, and we want to let them know a little bit better about how to get there because so much will be affected by this festival. So let's start off really quickly by talking about this map that ACL has put out itself and specifically highlighting the shuttles that the festival is running to get people to and from the event. Yeah, well, so these are going to be free shuttles that are operated by ACL itself. Um, they are going to be running to and from Republic Square each of the three days for both weekends. Um, on Fridays, those pickups will begin at 12 p.m., and on Saturdays and Sundays both weekend, it'll begin at 11 a.m. And again, that's at Republic Square in downtown Austin. There are going to be various pickup or drop-off zones for folks who are attending the festival, as well as for pickup zones for people who will then be late, leaving later in that day um, to head back to downtown Austin before they head on their next journey. As you can see from this just little section of the map, we've kind of blown it up so you can see where exactly the pickup spot is there next to the federal courthouse by Republic Square Park. 
I know that there were problems with this last year, Kelsey, and ACL is trying to deal with those this year, so it's a much smoother process. Yes, that's right, Will. And there's going to be several other options we'll highlight later on today about ways to get to ACL. But when it comes to these free shuttles, they are trying to operate them on a 15-minute frequency rate to try and keep up with demand levels, um, but also make sure that folks are able to quickly and safely get to and from Republic Square Park downtown. We want to highlight a few things on the bottom portion of this map that ACL shared. And if you take a look right here, we've blown it up just a little bit more. I know that it might be hard to read for people out there, but what we want to highlight are the fact that there are places where you can take a ride share and be dropped off near the grounds. Kelsey, highlight those for us. Yes, yeah, so there are going to be three designated ride share pickup and drop off zones. Those are going to be at intersections with Mopac Expressway with Veterans Drive with Lee Barton Drive and with Wallingwood Drive. So those are your three official zones near the park grounds. Obviously, if you and your group of attendees wanted to move further from Zilker and then deal with pickups and drop-offs there, that's an option as well. But in terms of the closest vicinity to the park, these are the three zones that will get you nearest to Zilker safely and legally. And we should highlight that there are many road closures in that area, so please be mindful of that. Kelsey, which ones are the big ones that are affected? Yeah, the biggest one is obviously going to be Barton Springs Road. That is going to be close to general traffic and to um, the public st starting definitely with Friday, um, but running through the weekend, as well as Stratford Drive is going to be close to the public as well. Um, Again, once you hit that intersection of Barton Springs Road and South Lamar Boulevard, you are going to be at um, pedestrian traffic only. So pedestrians, bikes, scooters, all of that is safe to pass through closer to Zilker as you narrow, narrow, narrow in on the uh, festival grounds. But there will not be any vehicle traffic allowed past that point. If you cannot hitch a ride on one of the ACL shuttles that the festival itself is running, Capital Metro is also offering some options. What are those, Kelsey? Yes, that's right, Will. So your best bet for the most direct route to Zilker Park is going to be the Metro Rapid 803. Um, and Cap Metro has a trip planner portal on its website where you can find out based on your current location or where y'all are initially starting before heading down to Zilker Park what that best route is going to look like, including any tra transfers you might need to make to get onto the Metro Rapid 803. But the Metro Rapid 803 has both northbound and southbound uh, routes that will be hitting up Barton Springs Road and South Lamar Boulevard. From there, festival attendees can then get off and then make their way over to Zilker Park. All right, there are two major options there for people to get around very easily. And fortunately, Kelsey, you have kind of distilled all this information into one central place, and that's in this article that you can find right now on KXAN.com. Kelsey, what else can people read about there in addition to the shuttle and the bus service? Yeah, so some other key highlights. You're going to want to know that if you are taking a Cap Metro bus to and from Zilker Park this weekend or next weekend, um, they will be running these bus services very late into the evening until about 3 a.m. So if you are someone who are staying for the grand finales of either or all festival days, you will be able to safely hitch a ride back home. There's also the Ann and Roy Butler hike and bike trail. So if you are someone who wanted to take the more scenic route to get to Zilker Park, that is an <laughs> option as well. They do advise people because you will be likely coming back late at night to bring some sort of light and be aware of your surroundings just since you'll be heading back in the dark. Love all the options, and thank you all for highlighting them too, Kelsey. We appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, Will. We have full in-depth coverage of both weekends of Austin City Limits Music Festival. You can find that on KXAN.com, our website. We have a section fully devoted to ACL itself. Let's take a look at where you can see that. If you go to our website, KXAN.com, just below the top stories there in a section under Quick Links, you see Austin City Limits Music Festival. If you click into that, there are all of our stories available for you to read. And we've tried to be as comprehensive as possible about how to get there weather information, the forecast that you want to know for this first weekend of ACL, plus many other details about safety and other things to bring to the festival, you can find it on our website, kxan.com. Additionally, we want you all, if you're going to the festival, to send us your photos so that we can show off those pictures of you enjoying the festival. If you have some to send our way, send us an email to report it at kxan.com. We look forward to seeing those pictures and videos if you have any too. I want to thank you all again for watching here this afternoon. We really do appreciate Kelly Barnes with the band Darkbird for joining us too. 
Again, the gates are now open at ACL for the first weekend of the festival. If you take a look there again, there's a live picture from Zilker Park where you can see the screens flashing on one of the main stages there on the uh, western side of the park. If you're heading out there today, enjoy it, stay safe. We will continue coverage of this big event that will last another weekend here in Austin. Thanks again for watching everybody here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live studio. We'll see you back here at another time. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your Friday. Take care.